Hey YouTube, Rudy El Segundo, and you're looking at my 357 Magnum Security 6. You saw this gun in one of my other videos, budget guns, and um, this is a more in-depth review on it. In my other video, you saw it sporting that four-inch barrel. Since that video aired, I purchased that two and three-quarter inch uh, snub nose barrel. Believe it or not, I prefer that look. And I prefer that style because um, I'm located in Illinois. And hopefully in a few months, we'll be able to pass the uh, concealed carry. So I'm going to make this uh, my concealed carry gun. I'm going retro, guys. <laughs> um, the Security 6 offered three different barrels. It gave you the option to purchase the two and three quarter inch, the four inch, and a six inch barrel. And I am going to purchase that six inch barrel uh, fairly soon for the sake of, uh, of value. I want to raise, raise the value of my weapons. Um, bringing me to my next point, versatility. Um, a lot of aftermarket parts are still available for, for these weapons. Um, that grip being one of them. This is the original walnut grip, and I got a bigger hand, and that grip just didn't cut it, guys. So I had to purchase that for a few bucks. It wasn't, it didn't break the bank. Um, a few other parts are uh, that speed loader. One of the only downsides to a revolver is uh, obviously the capacity. But when you're shooting a 357 Magnum hollow point like that, that's an effective round. And if you have a couple of these speed loaders on your side, you're not on their gun, guys. Don't bash these, uh, these revolvers. Very, very effective weapons, and that is a very effective round. That 357 Magnum, um, this gun can also shoot a 38 Special, that round there. And can also shoot a 38 Special Plus P. When you're able to shoot a few different rounds from one gun, that is going to raise the value of that weapon. All right, guys. In the late, uh, excuse me, this uh, gun was in production between the early 70s up until the late 80s. They made hundreds of thousands of these uh, weapons. And those parts are still out there. If you're looking to, if you have one, if you purchase one, don't be scared. That those parts are not going to go extinct. They're not going to die. They're not going to disappear. Um, you're still able to buy parts like that barrel, uh, that trigger assembly, that bag full of other parts. This all came together, including a cylinder. I bought it for about 85 bucks. Since then, I've sold that cylinder for about 90 dollars. So I got my money back. And I was able to, all I wanted was that two and three quarter inch barrel. Alright guys, this, this weapon was marketed as one of the easiest weapons to field strip. They promoted uh, and marketed that you could field strip it with a coin, with a dime. Even simpler to field strip, you can field strip it with a round. All you need it for is to remove that grip. You know, loosen up that bolt. And, uh, and that's what's going to start the field strip. The rest of the tools are inside of here, guys, and I'll show you. You're going to remove that pin. You're going to remove your grip. And inside of that grip, there's going to be a pin. You can see it right there. That's going to be your next tool. That pin, you're going to insert. When you cock that hammer back, you're going to insert that pin inside of that hammer spring. That's going to release some of the tension off of that spring where you can remove it a lot easier. Just like that. This is going to be your next tool. Press in that hammer pin. Remove it from the other side. Pull the trigger and that hammer should fall right out. Just like that. Alright, next is going to be your trigger assembly. Inside inside of the works here, you're going to see that nub. You're going to press that nub, it's under spring tension, you're going to press it in and pull down on your trigger assembly at the same time. 
and that's going to release your trigger assembly. All right, next is going to be your cylinder. When you open up your cylinder, this retention pin down here is going to fall out. Just like that. And that's it. That's a complete field strip of the Strum Ruger Security 6 revolver. Very simple weapon because it does not have a lot of moving parts. If you know the uh, the Glock um, also has very few moving parts and that's why it is so reliable and so effective. Alright, reassembly. Work in a backwards fashion. You're going to put that retention pin in and then your cylinder. Next, you're going to line up that groove right, right there inside of the channel. And then you're going to close it up. It's all under spring tension, so it should snap right into place. All right, next is going to be your hammer and then your hammer pin. Next is going to be your hammer spring and there's only one way to put it if you notice this a little bit shorter on this side than this side it's the only way that it can fit guys there's really no no way to mess this up just don't jam the parts and they should fall right in there's no reason to uh, to jam them in alright double action single action and we're good alright next is gonna be your grip I just lost my my grip. Sorry about that, guys. All right, that is a grip washer, and then next, and then that's it. That's a complete field strip of this revolver, guys. If you've if you know if you've ever field stripped a, a revolver like a Smith and Wesson, believe me, it will not be this easy. All right, guys, this pin. I'm gonna have to do some a little bit of modification. I gotta screw that uh, medallion back in, but no big deal. I'm not gonna do that right now for the sake of the video. But um, but either way, that's it. That's a field strip of the weapon. Very very simple. Very simple weapon. Don't be intimidated by the field strip of it, especially not this one. Uh, you saw my my line of videos. Hopefully, guys, stay tuned. I got a few more videos coming down the pike. Um, I'm very excited. I'm going to get something in the mail fairly uh, soon. So stay tuned to my other videos. Um, I got a Mosin Nagant Archangel stock coming. And uh, if you don't know, Google it or uh, YouTube it. Archangel Mosin Nagant um, Polymer stock. Um, I got that coming. And I also have an SKS Bullpup. Um, by Shrin and Gunworks coming. I'll make a video on that. I'm very excited, so stay tuned. But that's it for me. I'm Rudy El Segundo. If you guys got any questions about this Strum Ruger Security 6, post them. I'm out.